After the enjoyment I had from Madden 24, I decided to check out NHL 24 to see what had changed in that, because the last NHL game I played was, I think, NHL 2002, <laughs> so it had been a qu quite a long time. Um, it, Brendan Shanahan and, and Brett Hall were both on the Red Wings, if that gives you any idea of how long ago it was. Uh, it, it was a long, long time ago, uh, but <laughs> I decided to pick this one up and see how it had changed. And, unfortunately, I would say that this series has actually gotten a lot worse. Um, it's This game's definitely not as fun as the old, you know, 2000s game was. The old 2000s game, it was more arcadey, yes, but it was more enjoyable. This one tries, I feel like, to somewhat be simulation, but it, it tries to, like, cross the, you know, arcade and, and the simulation gameplay. It tries to, like, mix them together, and it just doesn't really work. There's a lot of just ugly highlighting on the screen whenever you're passing the puck around, too. Uh, and when you're trying to take a shot, there's a whole lot of just ugly, like, highlights everywhere. And it's just like, ew, what, what is going on here? This looks horrible. And even simple things, like, you know, doing a face-off. Um, like, in the old days, like, yeah, you could just spam the button and it would do a face-off, right? But in this one, it's more about timing and stuff, which I get. Like, yeah, whatever, fine. You, it, again, trying to not be so arcadey, I get it. Um, but it, it almost like they turned their game into something that's a little bit boring, if I'm being honest. I, I played this game, and I always just kind of felt bored. I never felt like any challenge I had was a legitimate challenge, because every shot I get, and every shot I get in, in the actual net, it just felt like pure luck. Every time I hit it in, I was just like, oh, cool, I, I finally got lucky after hitting it, you know, 40 times, I finally went in the net. I didn't feel like I was particularly aiming perfectly, I didn't feel like anything like that. I felt like I was just hoping the goalie would trip. <laughs> when the goalie tripped, I would hit, hit the puck in. That's what it kind of felt like. There was nothing about this game that felt remarkable. And I tried Superstar Mode. I was just like, alright, well, you know what? I'll try Superstar Mode. And I'll see how that is. And as soon as I saw the camera angle that put your character in, I was just like, okay, I can't play this. There, there's no way. Because <laughs> I tried to do goalie. And the gameplay mechanics for the goalie were so bad, I was just like, no, no, no. I'm going away from this. Because... Goalie's my favorite position in hockey, so... But the gameplay was so bad with it, I was just like, no. No, I'm not doing it whatsoever. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of weird decisions in this. Even the default camera sucks. I hate the default camera. The default camera, um... It just... It, it puts you like... I guess... Uh, what's the, the way you would put it? It kind of puts you behind your players, behind your team. I like it when it's more like the actual TV view. So that was that's easily changed though. That's not a huge deal, but just an odd decision to have that as a starting um, set. And I will say there's a lot of in this game when you haven't played a NHL game in I don't know how long. Um, <laughs> you know you kind of forget some things. And this game doesn't re have any sort of really really good tutorials or anything. It doesn't have anything like that. So a lot of it was just me guessing for the first couple hours I played this game, just trying to figure out what to do and how to do face-offs, how to do everything. I was just a lot of it was a lot of it was just me looking things up to see how to play and how to aim better and how to do certain things. Um, but really, there's nothing in this game that teaches you how to play better. <laughs> so that also that kind of sucks. Um, and yeah, honestly, even even the game mode difficulties didn't feel correct. Like. I don't know how people play this on Pro without just getting absolutely blown out. Like, I wouldn't be able to do it. There's no way. Um, on Rookie, at least... Like, even when I play on Rookie mode, I, I at least felt like I, I had a chance there because, like, the challenge was still decent. Like, I would win still, and I would still lose. Like, it still felt like there's a little bit of a challenge. But when I turned on Pro mode, it was just like, oh, their, their team's not missing anymore. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that. Um, again, just very odd game here. Um, it's not fun to me. I, I definitely prefer the older one. Again, maybe it's just been so long that maybe the old one wouldn't be fun to me anymore either. I don't know. Maybe I should go back and play the other one and see. But this one definitely is not my cup of tea. And I see a lot of other people saying that the NHL series, um, the NHL uh, games have gone downhill over the years. So I'm just going to believe what they say on that. And you know, be like, okay, well, if they're still going downhill and I played this one and I didn't like it, I'm probably not going to play any more for a while. So, personally, I didn't like this game. Luckily, I bought it physical, so I was able to trade it in and get some money back for it, which is good. 
but uh, I do not recommend buying this personally. Uh, even if you're a hockey fan, like I, like I enjoy hockey. I wouldn't say I'm a hardcore hockey fan, but I enjoy it. Um, I, I try to like keep up to date with the who's winning and who's you know doing all that stuff. I don't really have time to watch a lot of the games or anything, but I enjoy the sport. I enjoy whenever I do get a chance to watch it. I enjoy watching it. But if you're someone that's kind of like just a casual fan like me, this probably isn't going to be your thing. You're probably not going to enjoy this. Uh, if you're not a hockey fan at all, I don't think you'd get any enjoyment out of this whatsoever. Um, there's a lot of this stuff that's aggravating about this game and a lot of odd decisions. Like, I couldn't even find out how to change my weight and height in Superstar mode. Like, I couldn't find the sliders anywhere for it or anything. I don't know if I was just missing it or what. That's another thing I should point out. The menus are so clunky. These menus are the worst. Like, even if I, I did a franchise mode, and I, I was trying to swap around and just, like, figure things out and <laughs> figure out how to, like, swap my uh, roster around and everything and fix my lineup, and it was so clunky to do all that stuff. It was horrible. Uh, the one thing I will say that I did like is that in franchise mode, you can swap between NHL and AHL, so you have two different hockey leagues to, to work with, which that's pretty cool, because I was playing as the Columbus Blue Jackets, and then I had the Cleveland Monsters as my like AHL team that I could, that basically the, like, the minor leagues that I could send players down to to get better. I thought that was actually cool, and I actually enjoyed playing as AHL more than I enjoyed playing as the NHL teams. Um, so that's cool. I, I would like to see more of that in the future. But I'd also just like to see this game not be a highlighted clunky mess in the future, too. So hopefully that will happen. Um, but for now, I'm probably not going to pick up another NHL game for at least probably five more years, I'd say. <laughs> not my thing. Hopefully it will get better in the future. Uh, and if people start talking about it good and, and people start saying, hey, their, their games are doing well again, then maybe I'll check it out. But as for now, yeah, I'm good, fam. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll talk to you next time. You have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.